On today's Maker Mashup, we're upgrading our printer mainboard to the SKR version 1.4. So on today's Maker Mashup, we're going to be upgrading our SKR version 1.3 to the 1.4 main board in our X302 printer. Now, if you haven't seen the video where I cover some of the new features of the 1.4, you can see that in the cards at the top, and it goes over some of the new features that are available in the 1.4. So today we're gonna to focus on getting this installed. I'm going to take out the old version 1.3 motherboard, install the 1.4. So we're gonna go over some of the jumper changes that they've done in the 1.4 version from 1.3. And we're gonna install the steppers, get this installed, and then we're gonna print a test cube. There really should be no differences and this should be a fairly quick video because there's very limited changes that we need to do in the firmware to make the 1.4 board work having come from the version 1.3. So with all that said, let's get to work. The first step is going to be to disconnect each one of the wires, and then you're gonna to wanna to label each one so it makes your assembly go a little bit faster. Then once you've removed all the wires, the last step is to remove the main board from your printer. Now that we've got the old board removed, we have to get this one ready. The second from the bottom row of jumpers is the ones that we want to keep here. Otherwise, we want to remove all the rest of those black jumpers right by those steppers. Once you remove all the jumpers, the next step is to remove the steppers from the old board. Now we just need to insert the steppers into our new board. Now we're gonna have to make some changes inside of Marlin for the firmware. You're gonna wanna look for motherboard, and then you're gonna wanna change that to the Big Tree Tech SKR version 1.4 board. If you have a bed leveling sensor, you're going to want to set the new probe pins. If you're using that probe pin that's on the board, it is P0 underscore 10. The other change I had to make because I did have the Z stepper split out is it did require me to change the inversion of the Z direction from what it was before with the parallel module. Not every printer is gonna require this though. All that's left is to compile the firmware. After we install the board, we need to hook things back up. Now I'm pointing out here that these are the two special Z axis steppers. So we don't need this breakout board anymore that I was using. And we're just gonna plug these directly in for both the Z axis. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the firmware, I did have to invert the steppers once I switched from the breakout board to the board uh, directly. The rest is just a matter of hooking up everything where you had it marked with the tape. So once you get that assembled, we're ready to move on to running our test cube. Since I changed the probe pin, I did want to make sure that my bed leveling went successfully. So I ran a quick bed level before I printed my test cube. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this upgrade. It went together pretty quickly, and I'm now able to start taking advantage of some of the new features with this, like the NeoPixels, and I really like the fact that now I don't have to use a splitter to drive two Z-steppers, that those are now embedded on the board. So overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this upgrade so far.
So if you're gonna try this project yourself, uh, feel free to join our Discord. There's a lot of different experts in there that will really help you with your project. Uh, whether or not you're working on this or something else, it's a really great community. Uh, it's constantly growing and there's more and more people helping each other with their maker projects and it's really a great online maker space. Links for it are down in the description. So with that, it's gonna bring the end of today's video. If you liked it, make sure you mash that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any any of our upcoming videos, make sure you click that bell and you'll get a notification each time that we release a video. If you want to help support the channel, think about purchasing something from one of the links in the description below, or you could always help support the channel through our Patreon. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. <music>